What's good, everybody? Ice Age Beats here in the studio, and the studio is finished. The studio, my dream studio, it is done. It's been a long three months. It's felt like years. However, I just moved in not too long ago, beginning of the summer or the end of the summer, and everything is coming together, and it's finally here. So after a long patient cut last couple months, going to the store, putting in the work, hanging things up, buying different things, doing a lot of research, it's here. So let's check it out. All right, so this is it, guys. This is the studio. Just wanted to walk you in real quick. Got the do not disturb or on air sign. I use it when I'm recording videos or doing live stream stuff, so that's pretty cool. So first, let's start with the desk. The desk is looking a little, it's not that bad, honestly. It's looking pretty clean. Let me, let me grab that. So the desk is from Home Depot. It's a wood desk from Home Depot. I stained it myself and uh, kind of got a darker tone for the studio just because it was a pine light kind of white color that wasn't gonna work so the desk is a six foot desk and it has plenty of space for everything i need in the studio uh, that desk or this wood countertop is sitting on some ikea drawers they're the mackie drawers they're not the alexa drawers or the mackie drawers they're pretty similar though with size dimensions and things of that nature it's, it's it's all the same honestly that was the only one that was in stock so i did some research and that was probably the best move. And then of course, on top of the desk, I have all my equipment. So this is a Native Instruments keyboard. It is 49 keys, super dope. Of course, I have my Focusrite 2i2, that's a third generation. And then I have keyboard, which was a really cheap keyboard. It was a couple, it wasn't bad at all, honestly. So I have that and I have my mouse, which, which is, you know, Logitech mouse, got it from Best Buy. Then I have my Yamaha speakers on both sides, of course, and they're sitting on some really cool stands. If you can kind of see that, you probably can see it better over here. They're sitting on some stands, some really like maybe two or three inches off the, the, the desk. So it's perfect. It kind of absorbs the sound and it's perfect. So I got those. And then of course I have my USB hub, which is back behind the keyboard i have 10 ports on this usb hub so got plenty of space i can plug in whatever i need to plug in clearly i have more space as you can tell i only have like six things plugged in so or seven but yeah that's cool and then i also have my powerhouse which is my razor blade let me bring that out a little bit the razor blade it's a 2018 edition 15 inch it has 16 gigabytes of ram and i believe it has a six core processor so i'll leave that information down right here so like i said i got this a year ago or so or so maybe and i already had a computer so i ended up switching to a laptop because it's just more portable i'm also going to upgrade the ram to 32 gigabytes of ram so that's going to be the move probably this week honestly i'm not even going to wait so that's that guys that's the dresser i'm sorry that's the the drawers or wow what am i saying so I hope you're enjoying this video so far. If you like the content, you like this, you like this kind of style. I know last time I did more of a studio tour and it was just kind of a lot of B-roll, but I want to kind of put you guys in the studio so you can see some of the stuff and kind of just be there with me. If you like this content, please leave a thumbs up and consider subscribing to this channel. Also, everything that I talk about today in list or show you will be in the description below. All these links will be affiliate links so you can help the channel grow. Allow me to continue to do videos just like this. Let's get back to it. So let me take you to the left over here, which is my other keyboard. This is a standalone keyboard. It is a Casio WK200 and it is it's a standalone, like I said. So it plays sound, has a sound bank. You can play different stuff. I've been using this because I'm taking piano lessons. I've been using this and I'll play stuff here. I'll line some paperwork up here if I'm reading music or whatever and I'll put it right here and then I'll play something so I've been practicing piano for the last couple weeks and this is where I'll practice then I have these cool little floating shelves that I built they just hold stuff I have some camera stuff a camera equipment my old lens my old camera and uh, my CDL so I have my CDL I drove semi trucks for a while that's kind of just a fun fact but anyways so that's that on that side I have behind me, directly behind my desk, I have this cool vision board, huge dry erase board. Of course, I have my Matthew 25, 24 through 30. 
I have that, of course, you gotta have that. But I also have my ideas and I have just different things I have going on and that I'm trying to do, goals I'm trying to reach, YouTube videos I'm trying to do, as well as my bills for Ice Age Beats. So all the bills and the expenses I have for this business, it's gonna be on that dry erase board right over here. And then I have my calendar, which I've been not really using it. I may start using it again, but haven't really been using it. So right below that, I have a cool fountain, which I don't really use often, but it's a cool vibe, not gonna lie. So I have my audio technical vinyl player, play some vinyl, I have some vinyl down here. And I'll play something from time to time. And then I have my printer, of course, and then the rest of this is just kind of storage. So I have a bunch of crap wires and extra interfaces and things like that down below. It's, it's kind of organized, but not really. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm probably gonna tackle this next, but I just wanted some storage and space to put stuff and it looked decent. So that's what I kind of decided to do. So next up, I have my studio set up for artists. So when artists come through, they record. I have this condenser mic. It's a Rode mic NT NT1, and I have an Audio Technica or a pair of Audio Technica headphones. So these are the MX. 20s i believe or m20x i'm sorry so last but not least is the panels these panels i built myself i got some acoustic paneling or foam from a website i'll leave that link in the description below and then i just got some wood and built out the panels got some fabric this fabric from walmart i kind of wanted to get this cool black fabric that kind of stretched a little bit but looked really smooth uh, and it wasn't too thick so it could breathe and the, you know the, the sound waves could actually go through and absorb be absorbed by the acoustic paneling so yeah that's the paneling i kind of have that laid out all throughout the room and then i have a few other places that it's dang so it's laid out right here as well and i have this cool i kind of came up with this cool creative idea this is my album instrumental album piece if you haven't checked it out follow me on spotify it's on there it's fire but um yeah so that's kind of all laid out throughout the room and i also have some paneling right back here too and of course i have the lights everybody and their mom has the lights if you're not if you don't if you don't have lights in your studio like what are you doing you know what i'm saying so the lighting is pretty cool it kind of gets a little funny sometimes and i have to adjust it and fix it i might need to add a few more pieces to make sure the lighting stays up on the wall but other than that it looks pretty good what is good guys real quick just finished doing a little bit of b-roll doing some editing if you liked the new studio tour you liked the video and you want to see some more videos please click right there and watch the next one and we'll see you there peace